Hey everyone, welcome back to another writing video. This is kind of like a bonus video within my Jughead, Ch Jughead Jones writing challenge um, that I created for myself and there has to be a change in plans. I was having a little bit of a meltdown earlier, like a midlife crisis meltdown um, about my novel, Kyle's Purgatory, that I've been working on throughout these videos, and I cannot work on this draft anymore. This is the current draft that you see me drafting, um, draft three. I had my mom read just even a little bit of this draft, which is draft two. Hang on. This one, which is draft two. And she said that I should stick with this one because it makes more sense. Um, because I needed someone to read it and tell me if it made sense or not compared to the new version. And... I'm just having a dilemma. Just having a writing dilemma. Maybe that's the title of this video. I have been crying today because I've also did not get a lot of sleep last night. I know I just laid in bed looking at the ceiling um, for quite a while and I was like just really tired. I think I, I don't think I fell asleep until the early hours of the morning. Um, and it's 4 18 p.m. on the 10th. So I'm not going to be working on that version of the story. I have 94 pages. That's the last chapter. 94 pages of this draft. I have some notes on the back um, that I need to go over and rewrite. Um, I may almost end up taking a break because I think this was, I'm learning that this is a bad idea to do, to try and write a rewrite my book in a week and then realizing that it's not what you needed to work on. Sorry for my dog barking downstairs. Um, it's either people or we have other dogs around. Seems like someone's home. Um, anyways, I'm going to rewriting all of these pages and sticking with this because it worked better with the ending that I had. Um, and the start that I had for the next book as well, um, which I may add into this one because this is so short, um, I may just do, like, both books in part one and part two and in one book, and I don't know if I'll have a third one or not, it just depends on where it leads me. I mean, I could write the side story with this, but again, I do not know. It just depends on where this story takes me because it's been writing itself. Um, if you guys have ever had that moment where you've given yourself a writing challenge and you're partway through realizing what I'm realizing, let me know in the comments down below so I know I'm not, um, not alone because I feel like I'm the only one right now and I'm really tired. I am going to take a shower and before I start writing again or falling asleep again. Um, not again. I've been up since like 11, but, and that's just because I was asleep. Or I didn't fall asleep until late last night. <sighs> I'm tired. This challenge is making me tired. This story is making me emotionally tired. I don't know what I want to do. I know I'm going to be going back to this draft 
that I printed and I'm happy that I printed it out. Um, so I think that's just what I'm going to be doing is just rewriting everything in this draft, trying to make it um, more cohesive and less continuity errors and developmental edits. Today's been a bit of a mess. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah, so I'm going to start a new document right now. And that document in my Google Docs is going to be for this baby right here. Um, it does kind of suck because I spent four days writing like 10,000 words. Um, size 18 for the title. Um, I wrote almost seven chapters, but it was just driving me crazy, and I wasn't sure if it was working, and honestly, I feel like I'm going as crazy as everyone in Riverdale right now, or like feeling crazy like Donna from Stonewall Prep trying to figure out if Jughead's alive or not, which I know that he is. Spoiler alert, I know that he is, because I watched the recent episode at the end, or towards the end, or all the way to the end. What am I saying? I don't know what I'm saying. I'm tired, but I'm making this video. <laughs> um, if you had a similar experience of going through a life crisis like me, let me know in the comments down below, and we can talk about it. Maybe encourage one another. Because <laughs> I kind of need that right now. And if you want to beta read this, which I don't remember if I had it in my Google Docs or not. Uh, let me check really quick right here before I ask for beta readers. Um, we can exchange emails down below and I can send you the book. Um, there may be a point where I just, <laughs> work on something else. I wanted to go back to a story. No, that's trash. That's a different document for draft three. This may take a little bit. Yeah, I'm just going crazy. Like, there's a dystopian series that I want to write. And there's also this comedy that I want to write. Um, I've started it. But I haven't continued it. And there's also that story that I started. The crime story that I started back in January, or no, the summer of last year. Okay, I need to find this guy, ha 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 ha, nomad, there we go, that's the story. Seven, eighteen, twenty nineteen. Is that it? I think I found it. If it goes up to ninety four pages, then I found it. Or it just said I know it. Ah, oh, come on. That's only chapter one. <sighs> I know I have it in here. Mm. 
You know what? I will search for it. And see about it. Um, I have this short story called Skippy that I kind of want to turn into a novel. It's set in space and it was mainly just a conversation, but it's been mulling around in my brain and I kind of want to turn it into something more um, and see what that becomes. Like, there's other stuff that I'd like to work on. Um, I just haven't been able to. It's like because of the fact that I've been working on this. This novel right here. Which is more like a novella because it's just under 100 pages. Still scrolling through. I have so many documents in here. Um, is that the full? I found another draft two version. Okay. I think I found it. No. I did not find it. So instead of, you know, wasting your time and my time and trying to find it right now, I'm going to just end this video. Um, I'll probably call it, like, writing. I, I'm having a writing midlife crisis um, with my novel, and I may not be able to complete the challenge that I set out to do like I wanted to. And I guess this is kind of like the point in Riverdale where we find out that Archie and Betty are together and that Jughead is actually alive. So, plot twist. I'm not having a great day at this point. And I do really want to get this story out there. But I can't at this moment. So, yeah, this is just me being kind of a mess in a video because I'm a mess right now throughout this whole day. And I'm going to probably eat ice cream and have chocolate milk with whipped cream and cinnamon after a shower. And then I might just let my brain explode. Um, if you have any advice for what I'm going through in the comments, all is appreciated. Um, and if you're going through the same thing, let's talk about it. Let's be each, be each other's therapists. Cause I, like my mom and I are so tired right now. And it may be part of the reason why I'm having this kind of dilemma thing um I don't know but I just I don't know if you want to be a beta reader let me know in the comments and we can exchange emails and I will try and find it for you just know it may take a little bit to actually email it um and if I email you let me like send an email back let me letting me know that you got it um because sometimes my email is kind of iffy and yeah thank you for watching this video um plot twist <laughs> i'm going to go close this binder i'm going to put this draft that I'm not going to be using, I can probably put it as like an extra scenes or something, but it's not relevant. And it's not relevant. I don't even know if we'll be using my Save the Cut outline. I have it on glossy paper. I don't, don't ask me. I don't even know if I'm going to be using this. 
this may just need to be put on the back burner for a little bit even though it it may be awesome that I'm not in the same headspace that I was when I first created the story and wrote the first draft and maybe I need to revisit the first draft and print that out um I know I have some of it printed out I just don't know where I put it especially with the move and everything but which was in the summer but I, I don't know thank you guys so much for watching this video I hope you guys ha are having a much better writing time this week than I am um Will I continue the writing vlogs? I'm not sure. I'll continue vlogging my writing and what I'm writing. Um, but I'm just not sure on my life right now. So we're just putting Kyle's purgatory on hold. And yeah. Just having a little bit of life crisis. It's all gonna be good. Uh, hopefully. And in the future. That I'm unsure about. Just. Because I don't know what to do with my life. Yay. Thank you so much for watching me. Lose my. Mind. Um. And, and I hope you and enjoyed somewhat of this plot twist that is like the plot twist in last, last week's episode of Riverdale. I'm gonna go and figure out what else to work on today that can help me stay awake and actually be productive and I will vlog it. Um, thank you so much for watching this video. Hope you like, comment, and subscribe. Please comment down below if you're going, have been through a similar thing that I'm going through. Um, I don't know what else to say except for thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video where I'm hopefully more alive and I know what I'm doing with myself and my life and my writing. Yeah. Bye. See you in the next writing vlog. Which will not be a Jughead Jones writing challenge. Because I think I may forego that idea. <sighs> yeah. This, it, it's only Tuesday. Right? It's only Tuesday. And... This week has already been somewhat ruined. I'm hoping that my birthday and Monday, well, my mom's birthday first, so I'm hoping that her birthday, my birthday and Monday, which is also my dad's and his mom's birthday, um, and my boyfriend's taking me to Old Town Sacramento. So hopefully that makes me feel better and gives me some inspiration. Um, other than that, I'm, I'm out. Bye.